A community beset by crime, the recent rape murder of seven-year-old Sonia Bayi has fueled anger and vengeance. A man who exposed himself to a schoolgirl was stoned and assaulted. Rescued by the police, he faces a charge of attempted rape. That the people who commit these crimes should be locked in prison and the key thrown away. Their private parts should be cut off because they don't deserve to live. The police are failing us because these criminals are arrested today and then released tomorrow. We are so tired of police not doing anything to address crime in this area. We are parents and living in fear because our children are not safe. If they are attacked on their way to school, then what kind of life is that? The police are not helping. It's frustrating. Sonia Bayu was abducted on Saturday in the street. Her body was found a few kilometers away on Monday. An autopsy revealed that she was raped and the cause of death was electrocution. Her family is shattered. That she was a, such a loving girl, so quiet, loved drawing and so kind. She had such a great future ahead of her. And to lose her in this way is so very painful as a family will never heal from this because she died so tragically. The police say it will investigate if the man they arrested for the attempted rape is linked to the murder of Sonia Bai. There is a bit of a confusion at this point in time surrounding um, this guy and the identity of the guy that was uh, involved with uh, the rape and the killing of the seven-year-old girl. At this point in time we must, we must say that we are not knowing the identity of that uh, rapist of the seven-year-old yet. Uh, and it is not linked to this one, uh, but we cannot rule it out. We will do the investigation in that line as well. Sonia Bayi will be buried tomorrow. Lerato Tipa, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.